these are scenes from relief camps in Churachandpur where thousands of displaced people are living since the violence started on May 3. At the moment, thousands of displaced people are living in such places. We visited the relief camps that have been inhabited by Kukizo community. around in Lamka Chura Chandpur for the past few days and have tried to speak to people who have suffered because of the ongoing violence in Manipur a lot of people have been displaced a lot have lost their lives we went to relief camps we spoke to displaced people their houses have been burned to rubble and they have nowhere to go as i've mentioned before there are some philanthropic organization who look after the relief camp yeah. under yva there are around 18 camps mm. 18 relief camps under kkl uh, 67 or 68 camps mm. in total there are 112 camps but they are shifting the displaced people those who are staying in private school to some government building right now Uh, Chura Chandpur which is Lamka where most of the tribal community live has been cut off from Imphal there is no way for people to travel there is problem with medical aid so people are literally suffering trade and commerce have stopped so all mode of income for people for people who were drivers for people who were do- doing business have stopped there is no way for people to go schools and educational institutes are being raised to the ground uh way back in 2018 19 the chief minister himself nb rain singh came up with a, uh, a scheme a slogan uh, where he says school fagar hansi it means let us revamp our schools but today if you see under his administration under his nose hundreds of schools in infall valley are being burned down and we also have more than hundreds of schools today becoming as relief camps there are no schools students are uh, forced to uh, leave the schools because these schools are now used as relief camps we also have more than 90 plus schools burned down not only that our students studying in manipur university and medical several medical colleges in infall are today their life is at stake they are not able to continue their education they have fled the state and now they're struggling hard it's been a year Chandpur Chura Chandpur is where major violence had taken place in May right na- right now as you can see there are women these are cookies of women who are guarding um, in defense at the border from here the tribal community uh, uh, village starts and uh, with the situation still tensed the women have come out and they are guarding the borders uh, beyond this are uh, more borders and be, uh, just be- behind uh, just on the other side there are uh, buffer that is the buffer point buffer point is the zone it's a no man's land nobody can go there uh, the, this these are the areas where a lot of violence have taken place on both the sides we can still see the remains of methi houses and kukizo houses right now as the situation remains tense people have have come out to volunteer in defense and protection 
as the government fails to protect the people. This is Nikita Jain from The Citizen.